Good morning, everyone. Uh, taking on another roof clean today. A uh, bit of an awkward one this time, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's on a uh, decking, which is fairly damp at the moment, which is an ideal. Um, but yeah, taking every precaution I can, to be honest. Um, but it's just one side of the roof, so it's that way you can see there. Um, so it shouldn't take too long, really. Um, it's quite straightforward to do, but as I say, it's just the, the ground is the awkward part. Um, I've updated a few pieces of my gear, so I'll, uh, I'll show you some of that now. Um, for anyone that's wondering what I use for every job. Right then, so this is the upgrade I've got. So before I was scraping with a Wolf and Garten pole, but I've upgraded to a 25 foot Renegade instead. Uh, it's a lot heavier, um, which helps with the scraping because the Wolf and Garten pole is pretty light. Um, and I've got this gooseneck uh, adapter here, so I can adjust more than one angle now, um, which makes things a little bit easier. So like for this, with a, a flat, a scraper like this it's easier to scrape sort of that way instead of doing instead of pulling down so you sort of scrape the tiles sideways that gets the edges um it makes it a lot easier to scrape it so yeah nice handy little upgrade there i'm still using my uh, 18 foot renegade to spray uh the bio side onto the roof um apart from that just a brush of broom um there's the bio side alga clear pro uh five liters of that won't use all of that on this roof um but yeah, make sure you get the pro version because the standard version is considerably weaker. Uh, and as always, Big Boy Backpack 2 for spraying. Um, that's just some of my PPE and tools and stuff in there. Um, and then just a little leaf blower and stuff just to get rid of some of the muck off the decking. And uh, get rid of some of the dust off the roof as well. So uh, yeah, so I've got my standoffs on there at the ladders. Makes it a little bit easier, um, you know, so you're not pressing on the gutters. And you're a bit further away so you can sort of get a better angle at the roof um, uh, and I've got this rubber mat um, which is uh, it's pretty heavy duty so this is basically footing the ladders for me um, I know this decking looks really wet there is a certain patch over here that's a bit damp so I'm just put some towels down waiting for that to dry um, but this it looks wet but it's actually not it's um it's, it's pretty much dry to be honest um, it's wet up there so I'm glad I'm not on that bit basically um, but this stuff is okay so yeah, I'm pretty confident in this one. Um, I've had to come back a few times uh, when I was meant to be doing this one because of the weather. It was, so I've got, a, got all set up, got everything ready to go and it started pouring down. And as you'll know, decking when it's wet is incredibly slippy and yeah, not safe to be on it at all. So I'm just gonna take some before picture to, pictures now uh, and then I'll get started. All right, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy, cheers.
Hello again, everybody. Uh, funnily enough, I was just praising the weather and it's p***ing down. But um, I've just finished scraping, so hopefully, oh, I'm gonna get in the shade, bloody hell. But uh, hopefully, um, this rain stops and doesn't get this deck in too wet. So I can actually buy side the roof, but it's not looking good. Oh well, the roof's come up grey, that's the main thing. Um, soft washing it won't take long at all, so I can always come back and uh, smash that out really quickly if this rain persists. It's only just down the road from my house really, so yeah. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm working with, so not the best. So if the decking gets wet, then uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be having a good time there. It won't be safe for me to carry on doing it. So yeah, I don't know about you guys, but uh, yeah, I feel like someone's out to get me, to be honest. Um, it's the reason there hasn't been many videos for a couple of weeks. Well, there's been a couple, but uh, no sort of a decent, you know, cleaning videos for a couple of weeks. It's, it's been like this every single day I've went to work. I've got, I think I've got three roofs um, that I need to get done. Um, that were meant to be done last month um, that I just haven't been able to do because every time I turn up it's like this um, this one was the one I really wanted to get out of the way because it's on decking you know you really want a dry day because it gets so slippy um, but yeah yeah we crack on um, unfortunately I did, I've, I've had sort of I've done a couple of jobs here and there I've had some gutter clear outs to do um, partly because of the rain everyone starts realizing that their their gutter is leaking um, so I had a few of them but it's, it's not good enough for a for a full video really um, so yeah, I've been waiting for some big jobs like this to sort of make a video. Um, but I thought I'd take a, another minute just to talk about this. Um, honestly, best thing I've ever bought. Um, it's really made roof cleans like this so much easier. Now, normally I would have had to have been up there on that roof, two stories high on cat ladders on the roof, scraping that by hand. And uh, with those flat tiles, they can be really delicate. A few of them are cracked anyway. Um, so you can imagine some ladders uh, sitting on that. Um, it's gonna cause some damage. You might get some tiles slipping down. It's uh, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a proper pain to do. So this this is the Freeman's Flexi Scraper. Um, when you purchase one, or even if I think if you're thinking about purchasing one, um, there's a dedicated Facebook group for it. Um, so you can join that, and I'm on there. Um, the owner who makes it, uh, Steve Freeman, he's on there. Um, he helped me out a lot with advice and things like that on um, even how to get started in roof cleaning. To be honest, because I'd only done sort of a few before. Um, and I've learned so much from that group, so I really recommend that. It's Freeman's Flexi Scraper. Um, but I just thought I'd show the versatility of it because I've had it on a Wolf and Garten pole, um, which is a cheap, lightweight, flimsy sort of pole. It does the job though, it's worked for me for years. Um, but yeah, so I've changed the fitting over to fit onto um, just a universal adapter. Um, so that's this part here, that's usually got a wolf fitting on it. Um, that's the one that I bought anyway. Um, you can get different fittings to insert just straight into waterfed poles. Um, but yeah, so this can attach straight onto, because um, most waterfed poles will come with one of these. Um, you can select this gooseneck version where you can change the angle of it, um, but you might not have that. So if you've just got a straight one, it just screws straight in. Um, I went for the gooseneck because I mean, anyway, on this scraper, you can change the angle. So if you've got, um, it comes with a Allen key, so you can turn that, change the angle of this, um, which is handy. Um, and then you've also got this set in here. So you take that off and you can change the sort of height of it, basically. So if you're sort of more scraping upwards, you want to tilt it sort of towards you to get a better pull. If you're scraping down, then you might want to be uh, tilting it forwards. Um, so you've got that versatility there, but then with the gooseneck, all you have to do then Sorry about this on tight. Just undo this and then you can change it to any angle you want. So there you're scraping on a roof, you've got the straight one for doing straight pulls down and then you can angle it like this. So you can be sort of straight up on the ladders and scraping sideways. Um, and for flat tiles, uh, that is perfect. It makes the job a million times easier. Um, so, I mean, I've got this done. I think I started, um, I started around half 10. Um, it's just gone half 12 now um so that's two hours two hours to scrape an entire backside of a roof granted it's easier again with flat tiles they're the easiest ones um to do so uh you'll fly through those once you've got used to it um but yeah so yeah just thought I'd take a minute to talk about that best thing i've ever bought um it's made me and my business more money in the past how long have i had it i think i've had it about six months um maybe a bit less um, it's maybe more money this year than anything else I do. I mean, I do pressure washing, gutter cleaning, uh, the works, window cleaning, 
um, but this thing right here I sped up everything and I can pretty much do any job now there's not really unless it was a three-story sort of roof I wouldn't really want to be touching that um, but uh, but again you know, if it was worth the money I'd hire a cherry picker or something but but yeah so if you need any more information about this contact me um, or join that Facebook group because it's uh, it's brilliant right then sun's coming out so I'll wait for this to dry out a little bit more um, yeah and then I'll soft wash the roof cheers <laughs>